My name is Harold Wilshire. I was born at uh, Stanley Pit, which is a little village, mine village, just above where I'm living now in Billy Row. And all sorts of crime, burglary was prevalent and uh, things like that. Uh, fights, drunken fights, all that. And it's gradually getting down. But the main thing is now knife crime. It's on the mines all the time. You used to walk about the estate, you would either get knocked down by a, a motorbike on the footpaths and that, or you would have uh, gone out on a night, you couldn't walk through the estate in case you tripped over a druggie, it was that bad. I decided in the beginning that it was no good sitting in the house and waiting the people for me. I knew what was going on in the estate, so I decided get out and do it yourself. To walk round the, the village, the whole village, it usually takes us one and a half hours to two hours, uh, depending on what's going on. Uh, it's more of a stroll than a, a walk. Just you see more, you hear more if you take your time. You take more in and you see it and hear more. When I'm on my rounds, I tried to cover the whole of the estate and uh, actually, the whole of Billy Roar. I go from straight to straight, some of them the back straights, and you know, just keeping an eye on things, that's all. Cannabis, I think it's a daily thing with a lot of people. They seem to think it can't get through life without the daily doors. I honestly think I'm a, a deterrent when, I, when I'm out. Just above there, there's some steps down to the community hall. Uh, them steps there used to be the worst. That's where they used to congregate. And uh, down the steps and that, as far as said, it just people wouldn't, wouldn't walk around the estate. They just didn't want to. They didn't want to walk around. I've had stones chucked at us, I've had my windows put out, as I've said. Uh, abuse. And sometimes I would come back in the house and think, are you mad? And I used to sit down and I have. Not a lot of sleep, but I've lost sleep worrying over a certain thing. Will they do this and will they do that? But I persevered and uh, it was me that won in the end, thank goodness. At present we're just watching the speed of the traffic. We can see, we can see on the big matrix the light is flashing and it tells you what uh, what speed the traffic's going. Then this will take the first part of the number, reds, and I'll take the second part of the reds. Police will look at it and see what the car numbers are, then uh, they will get a letter. People say that, they just slow down anyway, and it, it, it does its job. And if we save one life, that's it. That's what we do it, that's what we do. Just walked round the corner. There's a wallet in the road. I can't say much in it, but I'll go in the post office now and hand it to the post office lady. This is my first award and it was, uh, I was nominated by the postmistress of the village and that was, that was off the Northern Echo. Police cuts, I must say, was pretty devastating because there's not enough police now. Everyone's in a car 
So they just drive everywhere. They haven't got enough place to do our walkabouts like we used to. They haven't time to even do their own walkabouts because there isn't enough place to cover it at the present moment. You go on 101, you could wait anything up to quarter of an hour before it's answered. Then they'll tell you that it may be a couple of days before they could send anybody out to look at whatever the crime was or whatever the complaint was. I'm the in-between man, as you might say. I help them out that way.